Kiss Me singer Ali Mers spoke out ahead of the release of his latest album Marry Me after a four-year musical hiatus. The voice judge also revealed dates for his upcoming UK tour later this year speaking to Great British Life, the voice judge candidly revealed that he has not touched a drop of alcohol in almost a year. To mark his sobriety, the singer wrote a song entitled I Hate You When You're Drunk about his new booze-free life. Explaining what the song is about he said, I've been sober for 10 months, I haven't drunk a drop of alcohol. It's just something that I challenged myself to do as a New Year's resolution. And I'm nearly at the end of a year already. Sean Connery spewed expletive field rant at Chef says Martin Compston on the reason why he decided on giving up the boost. The My Heart Skips a Beat singer admitted that he wanted a better quality of life. He also revealed that he had developed a love slash hate relationship with alcohol. He said, I just felt like I wanted to live a better life, be clean, be healthy. Alcohol is something that I have a love-slash-hate relationship with. I get on with it, but as I've gotten older, it's just caused more trouble than it should have done. I'm just happy without it really. Since becoming sober, Ali has noticed how alcohol affects people, describing them as annoying when they have had a drink. He said of his friends drinking, you notice a lot of your friends, your partner, loads of people around you and you're like, oh my god, I hate you all when you're drunk. Some of you are telling me the same story three or four times, some of you are doing things and I'm like, shut up, go away. And referring to the track he said, it's about that moment when you think, I still love you, you're still my mates, I still think you're brilliant, but god. You're annoying when you're drunk. Don't miss, Jeremy Clarkson will be investigated after 25,000 complaints, latest, Oscar-winning composer Burt Bacharach dies aged 94, latest, Jane Moore on Vanessa Feltz's greatest revenge after her own split, latest, the star went on to excitedly talk about his latest offering which he promises to be a great mix of upbeat music and energy, he also noted that although there is a noticeable absence in the number of ballads on the album and admitted this wasn't a conscious decision. The former X Factor star said, We wrote this album wanting to do positive pop records that have good melodies, good production, and fun elements to them. Don't get me wrong, we would love to have done a few ballads or a few sad songs, but that's not how I feel right now. Ali also admitted that although he enjoyed making the album, he was nervous about how his fans would respond. He said, we've got the right blend and the right songs. And yeah, it's been a blast. I've really enjoyed the process of it. And now we're at this point, which is the most exciting or the most nerve-wracking point. Will people love it? Will people listen to it? Will people share it with their friends?